so the question is asking, um, so we have pentacarbonyl iron, which is FeCO5. CO uh, then we have, uh, it reacts with phosphorus trifluoride, PF3, and hydrogen, releasing carbon monoxide. Uh, so they already gave us the chemical formula, and it's balanced, which is great. We don't have to do that. So now um, we have six grams of uh, iron um, pentacarbonyl, uh, and it reacts with four grams of PF3 and four grams of H2. So now we need to figure out which is the limiting reagent. So it's a lot of numbers to take care of, but they'll all get sorted out in a minute. Okay. So the first thing to do is to, I'm going to rewrite our chemical equation. Uh, no, it's already balanced, so we don't have to do that. So it's all set. Um, reactants on this side, products on that side. Okay. So now we need to figure out how many moles each reactant turns into how many moles of product. <clears throat> so to start, we are going to convert all of these masses of every reactant into moles. So for iron CO5, we have six grams. Uh, I already calculated out the molecular weight, so we to get it into moles, we're going to divide it by 195.9 grams. So this gives us 0 0.03 moles of FeCO5. Okay, and for PF4, we have four grams. Uh, the molar mass of PF4 is 87.97 grams per mole, which gives us 0 0.045 moles of PF4. And then for H2, we have four grams. Molar mass of H2 is 2.02 .02 grams per mole, which gives us 1.98 moles of H2. Okay, so now we need, we have moles of all the reactants. We need to figure out how many moles each reactant gives a product. So now we have two products in the formula um, that you can use, just but you pick one, but you have to use one for the rest of the calculations. So I picked 3CO, 3 carbon monoxide. So now we need to convert our moles of iron, um, C, iron CO5 into moles of carbon monoxide. So we have three more moles of carbon monoxide than we do of FeCO5. We only have one mole of that according to the balanced equation. So what this means is that uh, 0 0.03 moles of FeCO5 give 0 0.09 moles of CO. We're going to follow the same calculation using uh, C, carbon monoxide as our product, as our point of reference. We're going to do that for all three reactants. So three moles of carbon monoxide gives 0 0.0675 moles of carbon monoxide for H2. Oh, sorry, two moles of PF4. Uh, yeah, so double check your coefficients for sure. And one mole of H2. So then that gives me 5.94 moles of CO. So uh, to figure out which one is the limiting reagent, it is the reactant that gives the less moles of product. Um, as PF4 gives 0 0.0675 moles of CO, the lowest number, P5 
PF4 is our limiting reagent in this situation.